Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. You ever had one of those days where just nothing seems right? Well, mine's been about three days now. Let me tell you a little story. Carrie Ware uh, mentioned that uh, the 1545 had the same unique characteristic that the uh, 1530 had, which is a hollow handle. The hollow handle allows you to store drill bits in it. It's kind of a common thing with egg beater drills. I've got a few of them. This is one that I just recently redid. I wouldn't call it restored, but I fancied it up a bit. Didn't go a full scout crafter because only he can do that. But I did as close to it as Sneelock's workshop's ever gonna get. This is a Miller's Falls 2A. It has what I call a mushroom cap handle. See, it's got the little bulge on it. Well, this one has a hollow handle, but it doesn't work like that. It looks like this one. But as you can see, this one is fastened on to the drill, and this one is fastened on with a screw. It's got a little collet and a lock nut. But the shape's similar to this one. Now, why aren't I showing you the handle? Well, because I got this bright idea that I was going to fix a problem with it. And that's where things started going south on me. So what happens when you don't follow the rules and you scrape towards your hand instead of away from it? There. Now we'll see if we can carry on. Away. Right there. You see that little black dot on the handle? That's a hole. Some previous owner decided that they wanted to hang the drill on something, so they drilled a hole in the handle. And I thought, I'll fix it. So the first thing I was going to do is take the time and scrape off all the paint and get it fixed up and cleaned up, straightened out because it had a, a variety of dents and it was really looking pretty bad. And then I thought, well, I'll get it all fixed up and then I'll paint it. I'm going to take, since this end is so chewed up, I'm going to take this out to 3 8 That way I can put this piece of doll right in there and plug up that hole. Didn't take much. It's pretty much a ream. Let's 
stings a little bit. Put a little more pressure on it. And then we'll put some yellow glue on the doll. There. Now it's protruding just a little bit and I got glue on both sides of the hole. And now I'm going to set this here and let it set. We'll come back to that later. Now this is Minwax High Performance Wood Filler. Really what it is, it's Bondo. I bought this thinking it was something else entirely. It is kind of tan colored. So I, I guess they think that that makes it wood filler. And it works, but it's just Bondo. You can tell by the smell, it's the resin hardener, the, the body of the stuff, the resin, smells exactly like Bondo. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to use this stuff up. I bought it to fill some nail holes in, a, in a, some posts, and it didn't, didn't really matter what it looked like. And since this is going to get painted, doesn't really matter on this either. But I think you could fix your car with this just as well as you could anything else. Oh, don't use this little cap. It's a pain in the butt to clean up. I just use whatever is handy.
This just happens to be a box that Railvac batteries came in. Mix it together. Make sure you get it all mixed because otherwise you'll have one part that just doesn't set up. Or it'll set up, but it'll take a week. The thumb is uh, not bleeding. This is the second day. The first day was kind of touch and go. That was a classic dumb move. Stabbing myself with a razor blade while I was scraping off paint. definitely got enough hardener in here it's starting to set up which is good that means I'm doing it right okay I use these sucker sticks because I don't need them I mean they're cheap so I just toss them out when I'm done mixing and since this container is not of any value, it gets tossed too. Now I'm going to go eat lunch and let this set up. Yep, no problem. We'll just let that stuff set up. Then I'll come back and it'll all go better and life's going to be good. Man, was I wrong. Tune in tomorrow to see just exactly how wrong. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.